Sophia Mormont. Thank you, President. Um, I'm really sorry to hear about your stepdaughter, uh, the Honourable Colin de Grassa. I hope the medication really works for her. Uh, epilepsy is different from a lot of other chronic diseases in that the symptoms can vary greatly. They can be very subtle or very severe. There's also no, uh, there's often no pattern in regards to onset either. So people have a lot of trouble living their life naturally because they don't know when they will be uh, affected by that. Causation, causation can also be unclear in about 50% of the population as well. So whilst we all may know about epilepsy now, there's still a lot of ignorance about the condition uh, itself and more particularly the effect this can have on people's lives. So when you look at the younger age group, you may look at learning difficulties, um, but also when kids then grow older, they may not be able to get a driver's license and working may be um, affected by that as well, obviously. And as the Honourable Colin de Grasse was saying, that there are many medications available. Um, they only work for about two thirds of the pe people at the moment and often come with side effects, which can be quite severe too. So uh, the opposite of the manias that I've seen in people with epilepsy can be that they are very sedated and quite dopey most of the time. And when I was first elected, a con constituent who has epilepsy wanted me to uh, help her in accessing her super. She needed the money to buy medicinal cannabis to help her manage her epilepsy. I don't think anyone should have to apply to get their super to get medications. Um, the reason why she needed to do so was that the level of cannabis required for her uh, condition was quite high. And whereas most people might be able to get by with one or two bottles per month, she was, I think, on four to six bottles a month. And that was simply unaffordable for her. Now, um, I went to the epilepsy website today uh, and had a look. Uh, they do a lot of work, which I really, really appreciate. Uh, interestingly enough, they had a poll on the uh, website asking, should medicinal cannabis be readily available as a treatment option for people living with epilepsy? And 2,248 people had voted in total, and about 95% are in favour. They hopefully more that medication, as discussed, will help a lot of people, but hopefully too people will be able to access cannabis more easily if it works for their particular type of epilepsy. Thank you.